And a good Saturday evening to you. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City, Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Well, today we're looking at the makings of a weather system, a storm system that is going to be powering up in the southeastern United States, developing a deepening area of low pressure, which will then track to the north. Current conditions across Vermont right now are generally a low overcast with a ridge of higher pressure with a strong temperature inversion trapping a lot of low-level moisture. There has been some breaks in the clouds, especially western Vermont, but uh, this ridge of higher pressure should bring us a decent day uh, with a little bit of sprinkles or very light snow shower or flurry activity um, during the afternoon hours uh, indicated. Then the real main action here is something that's going to be developing and then pushing gradually and then slowly working its way up from southern Vermont, southern parts of New England, and then through the north, that's going to bring us a mix of precipitation types. This moves in on Monday afternoon. So we're looking here at the uh, latest European uh, version here. You can see the thicknesses in the red dashed lines are showing precipitation that would fall in the form of rain. And there's a little bit of rain shower activity that moves in during Sunday afternoon. There's just enough cold air with a 5,400 meter thicknesses here that shows that there could be a little bit of wet snow mixing in, but we're talking about very light accumulation and really not a travel issue nor uh, an issue that's going to bother utilities. Again, this takes place into Sunday afternoon. So this is the evolution, and we're seeing a fairly significant area of low pressure that's getting itself organized. This again is valid uh, 1 o'clock in the morning on uh, Monday morning. It deepens, tracks to the north. It's loaded for bear with a lot of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico as well as the Atlantic inflow. And some fairly strong tight pressure gradient here. Now this will work off the coast and this has ramifications on exactly how this is going to play out. So what you're seeing here is that most of the precipitation is done by Tuesday evening, and this is the last of it here. And then we have another weather system, sort of part of the same storm system, but some of the jet stream energy it cuts off a low, it becomes sheared to the east, and then we're looking at snow showers or flurries. By that time, we're looking at really no issues with utilities. This is the European model of precipitation type. And you can see generally rain showers and then cooling off just a little bit into Sunday evening where we have a little bit of snow shower activity. But we're talking about minimal amounts here. There comes the main system. It's generally rain until it gets into really about the Massachusetts border region. And you can see here this is valid. It has moved up basically from southern Vermont. This is the leading edge. And this is valid uh, roughly about uh, 7 o'clock on Monday evening. So it's mainly a late day event starting in southern Vermont. Hasn't really gotten into northern Vermont. Main action takes place, it looks like, right there. This is some pretty significant rainfall or precipitation actually in the form of snow here. This is sleet and this is freezing rain. Freezing rain looks very significant as well. Something we're going to have to monitor very carefully. And you can see some of that freezing rain then wraps back around from northeast to southwest with marginal temperatures and a lot of different layers and then eventually it pulls on out so a lot of mixed precipitation in this this may evolve eventually to all snow it may be much more of a wet snow loading issue than a glazing issue and that has been the history so far this winter so let's shift this to freezing rain this is the accumulated freezing rain during that period of time. You can see six tenths of an inch in Montpelier radial ice, half inch radial ice in uh, White River Junction, West Lebanon, worse off to the north and east of our region. What about snowfall? It's also very significant.
these are the snowfall amounts but uh, again take this with a grain of salt these will probably be whittled back considerably Roger Hill weathering heights